thank you, uh, Ms. Clark, Mr. Kim, uh, for appearing before us today and for continuing your dedication uh, to public service. Uh, we as a nation are facing generational crises in the areas of civil rights and the environment. Uh, yet in both areas, we also now face uh, urgent needs to revitalize critical work in these areas. Um, and both of you are accomplished public servants with impeccable qualifications and a demonstrated commitment to the rule of law. You are, in other words, exactly what we need in this moment. So I am proud to support both of your nominations. Ms. Clark, I'm a little bewildered by um, efforts we've seen here so far today uh, to paint you as somehow anti-law enforcement. So I wanna ask you a series of questions if I could. Um, you were yourself uh, for years an actual member of law enforcement as a federal prosecutor, is that correct? That's correct, Senator. And, and in that role, you prosecuted cases involving domestic violence, sex offenses, assaults, human trafficking, hate crimes, official misconduct. Is that right? That's correct, Senator. And you worked on many of those investigations um, side by side with agents uh, from ICE, uh, from FBI, from law enforcement, uh, from police departments, federal, state, and local. Is that correct? Yes. Yes, Senator. And you've earned the support of numerous law enforcement uh, groups uh, and by individual chiefs and officers. Is that correct? I, I'm proud to sit here with the endorsement of many law enforcement organizations, police chiefs, and more. In fact, our own former Senate Sergeant at Arms, uh, Terrence Gaynor, um, joined a letter signed by over 40 uh, police chiefs, sheriffs, other senior officers that described your uh, uncanny ability to work with law enforcement and your impeccable credentials, credentials, character, and credibility. And the executive director of the NAPO, the National Association of Police Organizations, um, said he believes um, that you and he, and I'm quoting, share a common goal of fair, effective, ethical, and safe law enforcement. Is that correct? Yes, Senator. Thank you, Ms. Clark. Um, when I was in local um, government, I spent 10 years at the county level and was involved in and responsible for um, oversight of our county police department. I got to know the IACP well, the International Association of Chiefs of Police. We relied on them for professional advice and guidance in handling some very tough policy issues. And as president of the Lawyers Committee, uh, you worked closely with the IACP. You created uh, a thorough and well-documented action agenda to enhance the response to hate crimes and strengthen trust between law enforcement and communities. Um, my impression is in that work, you got to know well and work closely with both rank and file and senior chiefs, both policy leaders uh, and those who were the survivors of hate crimes themselves. The IECP executive director wrote that your professional harm hallmarks are, and I'm quoting, fairness, um, communicativeness, and championing transparency. Is that a correct characterization of your work with this organization? I, I would deem those to be accurate, an accurate description. So let me just say, as the co-chair of the Law Enforcement Caucus here, I, I know we desperately need people uh, who can listen to, respect, and work with law enforcement, who can work with the communities that they serve and break down some of the barriers that have imperiled reform. Uh, and I think that's exactly uh, who you are. There have been a number of questions about whether or not you support defunding the police. You've said clearly and forcefully no. Uh, let me just ask a last question, if I could, in this area. If you have a choice, and you're not the person who controls the purse strings, we are in the Senate, in the Congress. If you had a choice between additional federal resources uh, to help provide the ability uh, for state and local law enforcement um, to also have uh, partners uh, resources to respond to mental health crises, for example. If you had that choice, or you had the choice of reducing the total funding available for law enforcement, which of those two would you choose? Uh, I, I don't have the power of the purse string, but uh, if I could put my thumb on the scale, I, I would put it, put it on the side of more resources. That's what we need to tackle the grave issues that we face today. The rise in hate and extremism is just one example of that. Well, that's something I look forward to fighting for as an appropriator um, on the subcommittee that funds the Federal Department of Justice. I've talked to senior leaders in the administration. I've talked to President Biden, and I think we can, if we choose to work together, find a way to significantly increase the resources available uh, for law enforcement and for appropriate mental health responses to crises. But Mr. Chairman, with your indulgence, I'd like to ask Mr. Kim one question. Certainly. Mr. Kim, if I might, um, we, we've gotten a lot of attention to your colleague here, but I, I wanted to ask you one question, if I might. Uh, I'm a, a new co-chair of the International Conservation Caucus, and I'm working with Senator 
Portman on reauthorizing the Presidential Task Force on Wildlife Trafficking. Um, would you agree that wildlife trafficking isn't just a conservation issue? It's one that um, threatens the security of our international partners because the networks that often conduct wildlife trafficking are also involved in other natural resources crimes, human trafficking, drug trafficking, moving weapons, uh, drugs, and money. Do you see it as an important crime to investigate and prosecute? Thank you, Senator. Absolutely, I agree with that. Wildlife trafficking is important not only because of its effect directly on wildlife, but also because of its documented connections with international criminal organizations. It is currently a priority of the division, uh, and if confirmed, I would hope to keep it a priority as well. Thank you. Um, well, I'm grateful that both of you are willing to continue um, your careers in public service and look forward to supporting um, your confirmation by the Senate and your service as part of the administration. Thank you.